Hey gamers. It's me Aries, and I'm back again with a new Call of Duty Mobile. I hope you have a great day, without further ado, let's get started. In today's video what I'm going to show is the August 28 community update. I think every week or more they provide a community update, meaning they will tell us what will happen in the current week and following weeks. I encourage you all to watch the whole video so you don't miss everything in this content. Let me read this for you. Greetings Call of Duty Mobile Community. This week we are back with another community update focused all around feedback, new events, bug reports, and just a little bit about the future beyond Season 9. We may be about halfway through this season, but that doesn't mean there is still plenty coming out and releasing this week. First and foremost before anything, we would like to start with something that the entire community praised back in Season 6. Once Upon a Time in Rust, a behind-the-scenes music video. With Season 9 we have been lucky enough to once again have a full orchestral score as our main theme, and it is full of charm, deep notes, and echoes of Call of Duty as a franchise. Please take a look in this Season 9 theme music behind the scenes video and show your love for all of the hardworking musicians and producers who work diligently to create this score. I'll just let you watch this for a bit. Anyway, if you want to watch the whole video, I'll just put the link in my description below. Let's continue reading this community update. Here's all the news and events, let's take a look. As you can see we have 10 vs 10, finest hour, new seasonal challenges, prop hunt mode, sniper only, and attack of undead returns. Outside of that, we also have updated several playlists for shipment and some other new mode and map combinations. Check them all out in game now. Next is about World Championship. World Championship Stage 3 Before we jump into any of the usual details here, we wanted to first point out some changes we made to the reward structure of Stage 3 based on community feedback. Now, every team that places in the top 32 and further will receive rewards. Here is the new reward breakdown. Finals 10,000 Call of Duty points. Semi-finals 5,000 Call of Duty points. Quarter-finals 2,000 Call of Duty points. Round of top 16 1000 Call of Duty points. Round of top 32 500 Call of Duty points. The dates for stage 3 BR. Latin America. August 29 to August 30. Japan. August 29 to August 30. Other regions. August 29 to August 30. North America. September 5 to September 6. Western Europe. September 5 to September 6. Save that date guys, so you don't miss it. Anyway, here's next, Seasonal Challenges. Yesterday our last two Seasonal Challenges released and now with a total of 7 challenges you can complete through Season 9. Conquest. There are new weapons, new characters, a new perk, and now a brand new lethal grenade to acquire, Thermite. Overachiever This 4-part Seasonal Challenge is all about being the best and collecting medals in multiplayer matches. You'll be going after one-shot one-kill, triple-kill, and Avenger medals specifically on top of just a general task to acquire a horde of overall medals of any type. Rocket Arm This five-part seasonal challenge shakes up the formula a bit by giving you a chance to quickly acquire the new Thermite Grenade, and then tasks you with completing various challenges in multiplayer specifically using Thermite. If you have not finished the seasonal challenges, do it now, you have two weeks to complete before its end. All of these seasonal challenges will be running right up until our next season coming next month, so make sure to grab any rewards, like the ICR-1 Retro Nuclear from Quite Difficult Assault Rifle Expert Challenge, before we move on to a brand new series of challenges in Season 10. So that means our Season 10 will happen in September hopefully in second week. Let's go to the next, World Championship Stage 2B Cheaters Never. Prosper earlier this week, we got a few reports that one of the top teams participating in Stage 2B had players using cheats. After investigating that we found that the team, Thumb Gamers, did have players who were cheating. We have no interest in entertaining cheaters of any kind, but to see a team trying to climb up the world championship and in such a dishonest and false way is completely inexcusable. The team was removed the championship, enforcement actions with the maximum possible punishment were given out based on the cheating itself, 
and we've also qualified a team who would have otherwise been disqualified due to placements. Thank you to everyone who reported this, and we'll do our best to keep the world championship and the game as fair and cheater-free as possible. So stop cheating or else you may get banned in years. If you are not yet caught, stop it now, before it's too late. Anyway, let's just go to the next, this is the Manifest Destiny draw. Last week our second lucky draw Hells on Shells for Season 9 was released, and with the devilishly dark and mysterious Dark Shepherd and the explosive ASM-10 Bunker Buster. This week, we have a more military-themed draw or leasing with the Manifest Destiny draw. This draw brings in a brand new and heavily armored soldier, American Bulldog. He is accompanied by a brand new HG-40, the gold standard, with a dynamic camo that visually changes as you get more kills in a match without dying. You can also pick the PDW-57 Narcissist, Charm Gilded Glutton, and a wide variety of other epic or legendary items. Check out American Bulldog and the HG-40 Gold Standard in action below, and you can find the draw in-game now. Next is the feedback. Feedback. Molotov cocktails this week we've noticed a steady decline in demands to have the Molotov cocktail nerfed into oblivion and related memes, we'll take that as a win in relation to the adjustments we made last week. Of course, we'll keep an eye on everything and make any additional adjustments we deem necessary, but just to share a little a bit about the dev side of all of this, let's explore a typical nerf buff scenario like this Molotov cocktail change from this last update. Here is how that process goes down. 1. New update is released and with this new item or altered item. 2. Dev teams look at in-game data, particularly around how often an item is being used. 3. Community teams monitor for feedback. 4. If an item is flagged from either team, additional data is examined to check power balance. 5. Even if conclusive results are found and unless there is overwhelmingly negative feedback, we'll generally wait at least several days to see if the feedback and usage is just due to it being new. A great example of this was the tank release in BR, many people had said it was far too strong when it released, but after less than a week many strong counters were found. 6. After enough time has passed and if the balance-related results or feedback do not change, well implement an adjustment in an upcoming hotfix or update sure, that's fairly straightforward to most people, but we also get asked a lot why we don't immediately react to something like all of the Molotov cocktail feedback. In this case, we did respond rather quickly, and it was agreed to lower the overall damage, but in some other cases we may end up waiting depending on what we described above. Here's more, if you guys still watching until here, if you do, comment season 9 for me to know that you're still watching until here. Rank matchmaking times. We saw some reports after the season 9 launch, and then again recently about matchmaking times, particularly in ranked mode for multiplayer, being unusually high. Around each launch of a new ranked series, this is normal behavior for the first couple of days. Players are climbing back up the ranks after the reset, and that tends to slow matchmaking down for the highest levels. However, here we are over a week later and players were still reporting this issue. As a result, our teams have looked into that and made some adjustments earlier this week. We've seen positive feedback in response to those adjustments so far, but thanks to those who called it out. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. How Kilcoms Work We saw a Reddit post recently about fixing Kilcoms and Thay's a bit of tough subject to discuss, but it isn't a bug per se. Generally, in any game you play the kill cam is not the exact footage of what just happened to you in-game. Instead, it is data that is being simulated to best represent and visualize exactly what happened. This is common knowledge in Call of Duty titles to the point that there is even a Call of Duty Wikipedia post about this exact subject. Some games may actually record and store the footage to replay, but it can cause performance issues and other negative effects. We are daunted with feedback, now let's go to the last note. This is the bug reports. Since the launch of Season 9 we've pushed out a ton of fixes, like we mentioned last week, and we are still keeping an eye out for more issues or trying to refocus on some of the longer term issues. For now, let's jump into a few and just make sure to reach out if you are encountering anything. Next missing voiceovers. Thanks to the 60 plus people who reached out last week about this and provided various details. We are still working on gathering all of that, compiling it, and testing it out to confirm. Every time we do a call out for help finding info on a bug or issue, or even for feedback, you all respond quickly and with plenty of details. Thank you very much for your diligence and for taking the time to do so. Next voice chat issues. 
We still regularly see players reporting various issues with VoIP, voice chat, not working in-game, and primarily in Battle Royale. These reports come in various forms, like chat cutting out randomly mid-match and then coming back randomly in that same match, the chat dropping completely until the game is restarted, or a few other inconsistent ways. We recognize these issues have been hard to track down, replicate, and fix, but we still want to investigate them and do whatever we can to help fix them. Please keep reporting them to support channels, and hopefully we'll get enough information to find some more fixes to attempt. Thanks to every player who has reached out about this week after week. Next authorization errors. These fun general errors are still around and we are still looking into them. We've had a bit of trouble figuring these out because they are very rarely being reported in the same way. For instance, if these issues occurred with everyone on X device using Facebook logins, only then it would be an easy discovery and investigation, but in this case it is all over the place and no clear. Before I end this video, here's some sneak peek for first anniversary. Speaking of the beginning, as some of you veteran players may know we are almost at our one-year anniversary of Call of Duty Mobile, it will have been one year in October since our worldwide launch back in 2019. If you are thinking there may be something special going on during our anniversary, then you are right and we hope you are looking forward to it. However, before all of that we have another season on the way and still more content to release in Season 9. Keep an eye out for some of our first S10 teasers to drop this weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Be safe out there and thank you for all of the support. Signed by the Call of Duty mobile team.